the reality uh sito we're actually in the icu right now uh if i were to have a metaphor of the situation never has been been the uh, condition in which we have this kind of uh, healthcare crisis but it's all over the world but um if we compare ourselves with the asia we're the number one in the southeast asian region in terms of the number of active cases the number of new cases uh one of the lowest or the lowest recovery rate in asia though we according to secretary uh, galvez we have a decrease in the cfr or the death rate but we have a very high uh, hospitalization rate that's why all other hospitals are right now full and this is basically a, a sign that um, there's a there's a chance that in the next few weeks if we will not be hand, handling this properly and then we will be reaching the 85,000 mark that the UP uh, Okta team has predicted and we will actually eclipse mainline China of the uh, of their cases of about 83,000 the daily cases from the national capital region are over a thousand averaging 1500 per day and 72 uh, percent of this came from uh, the national capital region so what is the impact of this one now the impact of this one is that the increase in the cases uh, has strained the healthcare system of the national capital region the occupancy uh, rate of the intensive care unit in the national capital region is 71 percent and this is mm -hmm. above the danger zone of 70 percent and uh, you know that uh, the the national capital region bed occupancy is the worst in the philippines so what is the scenario here uh, as you can see in the last four weeks we are on status quo gcq and uh, i was in malacanang july 15 i was summoned by the president and i told the president if I were not to consider the economy, because we reverting back to ECQ is no no, because we don't have funds already. But considering that we we've been here for the last four weeks or so, the cases are increasing. There's full capacity. Then on July 31, when it's about to decide again, then we might actually revert back to MECQ, so that you actually decrease the viral transmission. And the four SARS mentioned by Secretary Galvez should go back to work, roll up their sleeves right away, and then um, put in the healthcare capacity for detection, testing, isolation, and contact tracings in order to reopen the economy. So this is the famous okay. uh, hammer and dance concept by uh, Thomas Pueyo. And they need to do it uh, uh, with agility this time in the in the in the second 100 days after the first 100 days. Now, uh, Jimmy, uh, Secretary Jimmy, and uh, of course, Sito, we are only the two countries in Asia with Indonesia that have not flattened the curve in the first 100 days. And I hope to see with the son of the president on Monday, he will be able to unveil the COVID comprehensive plan as promised and the economic recovery package or stimuli that actually be helping us in the next 100 days.